it's true. Ali's bought me several games, and and the uh, the end result has been the same for all of them. Yo, nice. But yeah, if you're asking whether or not I tend to play games that I don't speedrun, uh, not much. I've, I've played around with Stellaris lately. That's pretty fun. I guess that's another game that I've, I've played without streaming as well. And while I can imagine that Stellaris might well have a, a speedrunning community, um, I have not been speedrunning it because I'm really bad at it. Please go through the door. This screen could have been a lot worse than it was, but it also could have been better. I could have jumped over that dude. Seven. Not too bad. Yo, half coordinated. Thank you very much for the good luck. <laughs> Faisu, I, I definitely appreciate a certain level of snark in my chat, so... My movement's terrible so far in mute. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, let's maybe not screw up anymore. Thank you. 
Please drop hearts. I really need you to drop hearts right now. One time, give me a heart. Well. We got the skip, though. Pretty okay fight. Video games are fun. Oh, Star Scream, you're super cool too. Not even gold. So during the Sphinx, I need to look for the words healing medicine and mother, and that is no longer a yes, that is now a no. Actually, the only other mother question is... Did your mother give you your sword? So now just every mother question is no. Alright, that's how I'll try and keep track of it. Just say no to moms. Wow, I mean, that's one way to put it. We 
please? Please run. Or don't. Just at least walk. Like, I'd prefer running, but don't stand still. That's really... That's... That's no-no. That's a no-no. Faizu, definitely. Retro speedrunning is so much fun. So, interesting note, um, Slice Mage. The, uh, the menu, when you're answering the Sphinx's riddles, for some reason does not say hi in EA. It actually says yes and no. And I, honest to God, have no idea why. Yeah, a lot of random. A lot of random English, that's fair to say. Yeah. Oh my gosh, terrible. Racefire has some amazing emotes. They are super cute. And there goes most of the time that we saved in Mute Tower.
Yeah, so the infinite jump glitch. Uh, each one of those jumps is a three-frame window. Um, you have to hold up and A on the Genesis controller, so you know it gets good when that's not the entirety of the trick. Um, you hold up and A, and then you hit C to jump, and one frame later, you hit B to do the up stab. And each one of those jumps requires that sequence of inputs. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, spin speed in uh, Link to the Past, the, the rhythm for uh, jump followed by stab is about the same. Not about the same, it is literally exactly the same. Except that you're not letting go of a button, it's one button and then pressing the other. Yeah, it's fair to say that it's a challenging trick. Yeah, you have to jump stab to do the trick. That's why you see me doing the jump stab. suck at this boss. Oh, were you playing the PC version of Dragon's Trap? I've heard some other people complain about frame rate issues when they tried to stream it from PC. Seems to want to... A pretty beefy setup if you're going to do that. Okay, fair enough. I'll take that. Um, so this is not a move. This is just two weeks in San Francisco. But, um, but yeah, my intention, depending on whether or not either hotel Wi-Fi or, um, or cellular signal allows me to, is I intend to, to continue streaming in the evenings. Sunday evening, I, I think that I'm going to be seeing you, Alan, so probably won't be streaming Sunday evening. Oh, or we could two-play or something if you want to stream with me. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have a SNES with me, so streaming one mind is going to be tough. Oh my gosh, this RNG room's really bad. Thank you, just let me leave. I don't want to be here any more than you want me to be here.
this shit, let me go. Terrible Handera volcano this has been. I'm looking forward to feeling vaguely upset about the red split. can still be green out of this, but we lost a lot of time. Holy crap, what a terrible boss. Let's go. Alright, let's just get Bucket Skip. That's all I care about. How's it going? Yeah, this is a fun game. I really enjoy it. There.
rude. Slice Mage, thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a great evening. Yeah, I, I mean, attack, attack plus move, same as in Mario, I feel like that's a better, that's a better solution. I wouldn't mind holding B to run. But it doesn't, uh, no, I think, I think holding B to run is still better. You would let up on B to do a running attack, like, let up and, and tap B, essentially, which is still better than then double tapping to run. Fucking in there! Alright, friends. This might be a run. Reminder that there's a one-frame trick there where you can leave the room before, uh... The game believes that the, uh... The barrier's raised. And it's the actual worst thing ever.
let's see if I can get the fast drop here. Nice. mid-boss. Yo, hockey. Got out of bed at 1pm. Nice. I hope that you're feeling better. Oh, the cycles are gonna be weird now. Yep. It's fine. Gosh. Right, well, we got through it without screwing up too bad anyway. Oremo Extreme, how's it going? That sucks, Hockey. If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer that you start feeling better. I don't think that's too much to ask a friend. I don't have control of your immune system. But I feel like maybe your immune system should, you know, get with the program. Maybe do immune system things. Please, please, please. Thank you. It was mediocre. But... Hey, mediocrity got us through it. Hey, so far we've managed to live up to our goal. This, this, uh, this speedrun is staggeringly adequate. That's okay. We're still expecting to lose the run to the Sphinx, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain about the gold. The Handera Volcano split, however, I am complaining about. It's a ridiculous split, and I feel bad about it. But yeah, it's not necessarily the double tap to run thing. Like, that sucks. But you lose your run every time that you become airborne. Losing your run every time that you become airborne or every time you slash. So jumping you have to rerun, falling off a ledge you have to rerun, attacking, rerun. And if you're going to lose your run the moment that you use your weapon, you may as well make run, like, the weapon button. That said... If the devs did that... It 
could be argued that this game would not be nearly as much of a challenge to speedrun as it is. This game is super fun and it's totally worth playing, at least casually. Don't forget, there is a, uh, a ROM hack of it where they translated it to English. Oh no. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, there is a ROM hack of it where they translated the game to English. So that wouldn't be valid for speedruns. But it is, you know, super fun and worth playing. Thank God I got that one first try. But yeah, it's not valid for speedruns, but. That's what often I played when we did the, the blind race of this game. And I fell in love with this game so much that I purchased a Genesis, modded the Genesis so that it can play Japanese carts, and purchased a real cart of the game. Oh my gosh. It's okay, I'm gonna have six hearts leaving this place. We'll be fine. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not in love with the, with the Sega controller. I understand that some people were Sega kids, but I just I feel sorry for Sega kids because they had to use a really bad controller.
that's not stuck at this fight this time. Well, that's a good start. Perfect. Stop bullying! Actually, an idiot. I've heard really good things about Knights. I've never actually seen it, or played it, or seen a speedrun of it. But I've heard really good things about it. I know it has a huge cult following. Uh, I have no idea whether or not that was time save. I don't think so. I think it was time loss. I'm like 99% certain it was time loss. It was a skip split in my PB. Please run. Thank you. Gotta start doing that. Going from standstill to uh, to moving by jumping is much faster. Like you carry some momentum through, but jumping definitely seems to be faster than gaining gaining momentum from a standstill. When you're on the ice, that is. Yeah, I never played PSO. Like, the Saturn was well after I quit playing video games. And reminder for anybody who's thinking about playing this game blind. Um, the, uh, the hidden doors are findable by throwing Peppy at them. So while you can memorize where they are, and you should if you're speedrunning it, it's also very easy to overshoot them. But yeah, um, Peppy will help you out. Yeah, the Peppy question mark is straight up one of my favorite sprites in video games, period. Yeah, that's much faster, even than double tapping. I mean, you want to double tap after you're moving, but it's such a good way to get your momentum. That was lucky. Omega, by the way. There's some more some more Zelda 2 tech for you.
Yeah, I don't know much about the history of the Dreamcast. My understanding is that there were a couple of titles that Sega poured a lot of money into that didn't do quite as well as they were hoping they would. Which unfortunately became cult classics like Shinmu. But they didn't sell well enough at the time. I'm confused. I thought that that was... Did your mother give you a... A healing medicine? Is it always yes? Oh, no! Oh, that was... Is there writing on the... Or is there no writing on the genie's lamp? Okay. If we can get through this one more time, this can still PB. That sucks. It was the wrong button. But this can PB, so I don't care. I actually do care because that caused me to lose a gold. Bummer. But we're still on pace. And I've got new tech for moving faster. I'm really excited about that. That's gonna save me some time as I get used to that movement. Shirk. Nice, let me go. We could have been friends, you and I. It's fine. Oh god, it's becoming less fine! Yep, it's fine. No, you were supposed to bounce me the other way. Yeah, if there's anybody, and this is not uh, me being, like, snarky or anything, um, any of my friends that I would trust to know a lot about the cell, uh, Malius is definitely the one. It's unfortunately no longer marketable knowledge, perhaps. But... Hmm. 
Ooh, I should jump there. Please just let me move. Let me move and pick up the things from the chests. We don't want to, like, try and stab those, to be perfectly honest. Wow, this was a really sloppy, very, very messy segment. It's a bummer. bit worse off than um, than I like to be. We'll just have to play the boss fight really well. Yeah, the super wide screens are becoming more and more common. Oh, no, that's that's a good start. Oh, this fucking pattern though. I'm not happy about my health situation, but... Even less happy about my health situation now. be honest. 
just a little bit closer than I would have cared to be. Okay, actually, that's really good. Now we just go straight to the cutscene. Anybody who made it to the queen with just one heart left must have been so confused. Yeah, manipulating that guard is not the easiest thing in the world, but getting him to just go up the stairs is really good. Because otherwise he takes three hits to kill, you know, with the best sword in the game. So you're going to see what that big sprite is right now. The game doesn't cope well with uh, with both Peppy and Big Peppy on screen. Yo, nice! Congratulations, maid. That's free! Cool. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. That's totally free. Uh, this is on the Mega Drive, um, specifically only the Japanese system. Holy shit, this is really bad. Please go. I lost a ton of time there. Yeah, if you're an American, when you hear Mega Drive, you can just think Genesis literally anywhere else in the world. One of these days I'm going to not forget that that's the Mage Room. And I'm not going to take damage immediately upon entering it. It's going to be so cool.
I think it's boss time. Good fight. Okay, that was a pretty clean fight. Oh my gosh, go! Please go! way early. Nice. I'm probably not going to have to use my medicine either. PB's not impossible. It's RNG's going to matter a lot here, but PB's not impossible. Okay, one mistake, which I think was still better than my PB. Oh, bummer. There we go. Okay, still got the swag. Shit. Oh, this is good. One more hit, maybe? Yo. That was another perfect boss fight. 105. Well, that's a good way to end the stream. Holy shit. That was a good run. I mean, there were some obvious problems. But overall, it was a pretty okay run. <laughs> this run was indeed staggeringly adequate. Thanks for the GG's, everyone. That's right, is there anything more hype than adequacy? I don't think there is. Thanks, Meg. Thanks, Faizu. Yeah. I'm, uh, I am, I am measurably happier with this PB than I am with my previous PB, um, by a factor of, let's say, uh, 49. 
I think I'm 49 happier with this run than I was with the previous one. No, no perfection here. Just adequacy. This run was staggeringly adequate. That's right, 49 happier. That's that's more than 48 happier. It's a lot less than than the 300 happier that I need to be before this is a world record run. Yeah, Faizu, depending on where you're from, like, speaking English, I would think Faizu. Um, the other way that I could read it is uh, Futsu. Which I'm going to go ahead and assume that's not what you meant for it to be pronounced as. It's true, it's a very large peppy. Forty-nine happiness units, yes. Forty-nine point one happiness units, to be more precise. Fizzy. I, I don't think that it's fizzy. Um, the U rarely makes that sound. Really, some people do pronounce it fizzy. Fair enough. Oh yeah, it could be, uh, I forget, Spoonerism? Is it a Spoonerism when you swap letters? Could be fuzzy, but a Spoonerism. It's fair. Pandera Volcano Split makes me so angry. Also Ice Pyramid, some things went wrong there. So lots of obvious time to save still. <laughs> 